you know, I had an opportunity, you know, th- th- this, this, this year, it's, um, it's turning out, I guess, in some ways to be expected. And in other ways, it's, it's just crazy because we are seeing, you know, we just lost DMX, y'all. Like, you know, RIP DMX. This is somebody who, for me, DMX is part of my childhood. DMX is part of, you know, my whole journey, not just in the music industry, but my whole journey just as a black man, you know, moving in this country. Like, like he's a huge part of the playlist to my life. There's always a DMX song there. And just... Like DMX ain't here no more, y'all. Like, like, really think about that. Like, I'm so used to to seeing this guy on social media or in one way, shape, or form. X is getting locked up. He's coming back home. He's making record. Whatever it is, like X ain't here. And it just got me to thinking, like, you know, this time. Time is not promised to us, y'all. Like it like I don't know if y'all are really taking it that serious. Like taking your lives and just taking everything that's going on in your personal world like the time like tomorrow it ain't it's not promised i could be here today and gone today but you know people who we are used to seeing every and it, it's starting to be just every time you turn around it's somebody like that that you're just used to being part of your life that they're no longer here and as i was thinking about X and I'm driving around this weekend and I'm listening to his music and I'm really zoning out because that's a beautiful thing about music is it takes you back to points in your life. You know exactly where you was at, who you was with, how you felt. And, you know, I'm just driving to his music and I'm just, you know, just reliving parts of my life. And I started thinking about this movie and, um, This movie starring Justin Timberlake as I was driving because I just got caught up into the whole notion of time is short. And this movie is called In Time. For anybody who hasn't seen it, you should definitely go watch it because it's one of the most interesting concept movies that I've ever seen. You know, people are born and when they're born, their life depends... It, it, it revolves around time, like literally time, every transaction, like the currency in their life. They don't exchange money for every transaction in their life. It's a little bit of time off their life. So if they go to the store and they buy certain groceries, they're deducting time from your life. And when you think about a concept like that, you start to take life just a little more serious because you understand that it ain't guaranteed. And for me, as I get older and I'm looking at my life and I'm like, yo, I understand I've had some good times. I've had some bad times, but all in all, I want the rest of my life to count. So every day I'm waking up and I'm going at it and it ain't easy. Movers, we in here together, you know, like, like we keep it a buck with one another. I'm not trying to pretend to be nothing or nobody but Sean. Period. There's way too many days that I wake up and I'm stressed. It's way too many days that I wake up and I'm looking and I'm saying, damn, it's somebody out there who is doing it that much better than I'm doing it. Or I'm looking at where I was a year ago to where I'm at now. And it really feels like it just ain't moving. But I got to stay committed to this thing because I know the time is not on my side. People would like to think it is, but movers, we got to stay focused on the fact that we don't know when this thing is over. And, you know, I look at the Instagram over the weekend and I see my man, Black Rob, another one I love and respect. And he's down for the count. And Black Rob, for me, like granted, DMX, yes, he he's definitely a part of my life. But Black Rob... He's something different for me. Like me and Rob spent years and years and years out there on the road, out there and really just doing our thing as his career was coming up. My career was coming up. And I remember back in the early part of my career and I got to give it up to my man, Harv Pierre, because at Bad Boy, 
you know, Bad Boy had people like Big and they and, and Mace and the Locks and all. You know, Black Rob was the underdog at our label. Black Rob was the one that, you know, he was there and he was holding his own and doing his thing, but he never quite blew. And my man Har Pierre, who was at that time heading up the AR department, he stayed committed to Rob. He loved him. That was his pet project. He was like, I don't care what happened. I understand all these other acts. They made it already and they're gold and they're platinum and they're double and triple platinum. But we're going to make sure Rob get his plaque. And I remember when that record, Woe, came around. And I'm just thinking about this because I saw my man Rob in that video and he's sick. And, and, and he got so many things going on with his health right now. And then he started talking about, you know, his finances ain't where he wanted to be. And it's just a long cry from where we started out together. And I remember when I got that record, Whoa. And at the time at Bad Boy, Jeff Burrows, who's now heading up marketing and promotion over, or marketing over at Def Jam Records, Jeff Burrows was the, was the president, the, the GM of Bad Boy at the time. And Jeff literally sat me down and he was like, yo, Sean, I want you to take Rob out on tour. It was me and my man, Malcolm Miles. And he was like, yo, I want you to take Black Rob out on tour and do not come back to this office until this record is broke. Don't come back to this office until you got a hit record on your hand. And at that time, all them other acts was out of here. They was established acts. But Rob wasn't. So we go out there and we got little to nothing, no resources. And Derek Ferguson, who's probably in this live right now, he'd tell you because he was the CFO. So Rob had the smallest budget. We, and this was the first tour I ever put together. And we literally, I put this tour together and we went down 95 South and we didn't stop. We down, it was no money back in those days. And we in a van, a 15 passenger van, and it's like 10 people. And we hit every city, every state, every little county, every club, anything and everything that you can think of before that record became a hit. And I remember being on the road and in the beginning, we would take Rob the radio or we would take him to interviews and they would interview him for five minutes and then talk about the rest of the bad boy success for the next 55 minutes. And Rob would be stressed on the tour and he was like, yo, why everybody's not really focused on me? But as we grinded, as we stayed out there, you started to see this record build and it was building, it was building. And as we crisscrossed this country about two times, maybe three months into the tour, it blew. It, it, it just, everything connected. We got to Cleveland, Ohio for the second time on that tour and the record was out of here. When the DJ dropped that record, it lifted the building off the ground. But I'm telling y'all this because you gotta stay committed. I don't know what it is that you're working on. I don't know what it is that you're right now saying, you know, because we come into the top of the year and everybody's happy. Everybody's talking about, you know, I got this New Year's resolution, the ball dropped and I feel good about myself and this is what I'm going to do with the rest of my year. And the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because this, use me, this is a mirror tonight. It is nothing more than a mirror. What was your resolution? And are you committed to it? How have you been using your time? Have you been using it wisely? Did you start off strong and now you're falling off? Are you still laser focused on what you said on December 31st? This is what I'm going to do in 2021. Where are you at with your goal? Where are you at right now with saying, my dream, I gave myself six months. I gave myself a year. You still hitting that timeline? Are you still doing the things that you was doing on January 10th, January 15th, February 1st? Or did you fall off? Are you now in a place where you giving yourself, because what we don't with people, and, I'm, and I include myself, what people don't understand is when you make a commitment, that ain't short term. That is, that is, that is for all the marbles. When you say I do, it is till death do us part. It is a blood oath. 
Did you take a blood oath on December 31st and now you shook it off like it was nothing because you're not cheating nobody out of anything but yourself. And right now, even as I was sitting and I'm thinking about how short time is, I had to do the same thing for my, yo, Sean, what have you done? Where you at with chasing this dream of yours? Where you at with staying focused and committed and doing everything humanly possible to break through? Are you back in the days of being in that van, going state to state, city to city, doing small interviews, going up to the radio, going to clubs, staying up to five in the morning and got to be out at six in the morning? Are you back to that, Sean? Or are you now with your feet up? Are you saying tomorrow, I'll get it done tomorrow? So if I'm holding myself to this same level of excellence, y'all got to hold yourself to this same level of excellence. Guys, we are in this thing together. And I, again, tonight is not about motivation. Tonight is about truth. Tonight is about us looking ourselves in the mirror and saying, we are now four months into the new year. How much have I really gotten done? How much have I stayed committed to what I say I'm going to stay committed to? Because truth of the matter is, if you are not where you think you need to be, it ain't that simple. You just ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. If you are not, like, people come into the new year and all of a sudden they have these, these, these outlandish, not even outlandish, but they have these goals. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take pounds off. Okay. And the bad part about it is so many people, they actually do lose the weight. And it's one of those things when I'm talking to people, I hate when I hear the word, I'm on a diet. I hate when I hear the word, oh, I'm just trying to lose weight, you know, up to, because when you say diet, diet has an end mark. Diet has an end date. Diet is temporary. You have to change that word in anything you do. We're talking losing weight here, but whatever you do, and you have to say, I am making a lifestyle switch because when you make a change in your lifestyle, it's for, it's, it's, it's for eternity. This is something that my lifestyle, the, the, the life that I knew before, it is no longer the life that I know now. I am turning over a new leaf. I am doing something different different with my life and I look at people who have actually gotten out there and they lost weight and they put in the laps at the gym they went and they're lifting weights they're running they're walking they're putting up on the screen and they're showing you know all of the progress that they make and then they finally hit that goal or they finally get to a place where they look in the mirror and they see results and now they start slacking off now you ask them about, yo, what happened to your diet or what happened to your weight loss? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still on it. I only lost a few pounds. Are you looking in the mirror? Because I'm looking at you and, and the mirror don't lie. You, it ain't ten, three pounds you lost. It ain't five pounds that you put back on. Actually, it's, you didn't put on three, five more pounds. You put it all back on. And it's like, if, if that was the case, then why start it? And that's for any of us. If we start out strong, if we start out going hard and we see results and then we start slacking off, what was the point of starting in the first place? What was the point of the sacrifice? There was no point. So if you're going to get into this thing, y'all, if you're going to do whatever it might be, you know what it is to make a commitment. That commitment is long term. It ain't short term. If you go make a commitment, if you go make a commitment to your relationship and then you start wondering why is your relationship not working? Because you're not putting the time in. You're not you. You DMing people on the side. You 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 make a commitment. I'm going to save. And then you want to go on vacation. Then you want to spend money on things that just don't even like we know where we're coming up short. We don't need people to tell us. So use tonight, like, again, this is not our traditional Monday night motivation. This is Monday night. I'm putting a mirror in front of all of us just so that we can look. We are four months into the new years. I want us to reset the clock. December 31st, it is nothing more than a date on the calendar. But that New Year's resolution, I need you to make it now. 
make it again. This today, April 12th, it is your new year. Movers, this is our new if 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 you have slacked up on your grind, make today your new year. Make right now. We're gonna count it down. Three, two, one, happy new year, movers. Let's just start from where we're at and let's just go back at it as hard as we can. DMX, legendary. He's legendary. His name is on the Mount Rushmore of rap. He's already there. His work is done. Is your work done? Is my work done? And if you can honestly say it is not done, then you got to get back to work. Let's get back to work, movers. I'm going to end it because I didn't want this to be anything more than a wake-up call for all of us. So the, if you're in this live right now, please... And I'm asking y'all, I'm begging y'all, as movers, we got to hold each other accountable. We got we to look each other straight in the face. We got to look each other in, 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 well, we got to look in the mirror and be honest with ourselves. And I want everybody to pray and keep my man Black Rob in prayer. I hate to see where he's at right now, but it could be any of us. Tomorrow they can be talking about keep Sean Prez in prayer. Whatever it might be, let's throw our prayers up in the most sincere way to our fellow movers. And let's really try to keep each other focused. This is our new year. Right here, right now, today. If you are not on your grind and you know you're not on your grind. If everything you said you was going to do, you didn't do. Make today a new start. Readjust the clock. All right. Check out that Phil Robinson interview, y'all. Um, definitely a dope interview. Very, very inspiring. And that guy's definitely the man behind the millions. Check it out on Spotify. Check it out on YouTube. Uh, and and then we just going to keep each other going from there, guys. Peace and love to all my movers. I hope tonight, like I said, tonight was not to put the battery in your back night. Tonight was put the mirror in your face. All right, y'all. One love. And again, Happy New Year to my movies. Peace.